Welcome to OPA for mobile devices. Uh, so today we're going to be showing the OPA for mobile uh, application that's now available on Google Play and the App Store. Um, the uh, product is uh, powered by Oracle Policy Automation uh, family of products. So OPM, Oracle Policy Modeling, is where you author your business rules in Word and Excel and are able to create policy models from these documents with the addition of screens you're able to guide an interview. What we're going to show today is uh, a little sample of uh, a few of the policy models that are included with the mobile app. The mobile app is standalone and gives the um, gives the user the ability to explore four particular policy models. So when the app is first installed, uh, the first thing that you need to do is uh, accept the EULA, and then you're presented with the library screen. The library sque screen is your starting page where you select a particular rule base that you're interested in. Uh, rule base is a, another word for policy model. Once selected, it will be launched, and from here you can then um, perform an interview. So you can investigate one of these four different areas. So we're just launching travel compensation at the moment. Travel compensation is a policy model that allows us to determine whether we might be eligible for um, some money back if our flight is delayed or canceled. So we're just demonstrating here the, the basic screen. We can see here a more complicated example of a screen. This is a explanation uh, contained on this screen where you can drill down and you can see an audit of exactly why and how your decision was made trace it back to the regulation so we now move on to making a claim so we've we've input um, our basic data we've got our eligibility and now within this particular flow we're going to make a claim the basic details are captured um, and then from here the the last stage of this process is to to submit some evidence. So once we've input telephone number, we're then showing a device interaction here. So the 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 app is able to um, to interact with the camera that's on the device, and then from the camera, we're able to uh, take a picture of our uh, plane ticket, for instance, as evidence, and attach that within the interview. So we're then able to uh, save this particular session so that if we were in a connected environment we could then submit this back to our system. The The app at the moment is standalone but the, the release later this year will include network functionality to be able to sync this data that's stored locally uh, back to the to other systems. So we're just accessing the menu here. So the menu gives us the ability to, to uh, give this saved session a name. So we can give it, um, give, give the session a name. And so now uh, we can go back to our menu and we can load this particular session. So if we restart our session or our app restarts for any reason, then we're able to resume the where we left off or just indeed see a, a saved session from um, from a, a previous run through an interview okay so the we're showing at the moment a restart so um, we're gonna we're gonna move on to uh, looking again uh, at the um, the library page from the library page we're able to then choose a different uh, policy model so we can investigate some uh, other uh, some other investigation that we're interested in. So we chose the more My Store app here. This is interesting because the look and feel changes that you can see here are actually contained within the policy model itself. So a rule author has designed this slightly different look and feel, parceled it up within the policy model, and is able to use that. We've also got swipe functionality so that we can close our menu. 
And our menu on this simpler rule base is very straightforward. Our navigation bar on the side. Uh, so we're able to swipe it and remove it if it gets in the way. So we're just showing a, another device interaction here. We're gathering the GPS coordinates that are available on the device. So we can work out where our nearest branch is. And we're also able to demonstrate sort of uh, dynamic controls within within our screen that the rule author is able to design because we can see the next nearest branch um, that's dynamically shown. So we're just navigating now to to um, to see the other the other policy models that are included within the app. So the first of these policy models, um, the the next of these policy models is social services screening. So this really is a, a lot fuller rule base based on a number of um, a, a number of benefits in the U.S. states where you can gauge uh, eligibility to a number of different benefit programs at the same time when running through this interview. It gathers a standard set of, of uh, information and then at the end will give uh, guidance as to which benefits they're eligible for. We're not going to run through this in detail. Uh, download the app and uh, investigate. Um, I'll just show you the final one just briefly. So we have a Know Your Customer policy model which is very useful for um, for people looking at financial services products, so that they can um, they can properly be informed that about the customer that they're dealing with, and it it covers a, a legal requirement to to capture and record any particular data with this interaction with the customer. Okay, so um, we um, we have basic data input on a number of different screens. We're now just having a quick look through the settings. So at the moment, the settings only really include a startup parameter. So automatically, the last rule base you used will, will be loaded when the app restarts. And you can select um, whether or not you get an automatic save. So you can choose as a, uh, when the page submits or when the interview completes. And then you'll automatically have your uh, session saved as you go along. The uh, OPA hub parameters are just here as a placeholder so that when the uh, new fun hub functionality is released with version 12 of OPA later this year, then you'll be able to add, an um, add connectivity in here to an OPA hub. And that will allow you to sync your own um, rule your own policy models into the application to perform uh, an interview that you can design yourself within the uh, Oracle policy modeling product. Okay, well that uh, concludes all I wanted to show for today. So I will uh, leave a slide uh, at the end with uh, some links to uh, other resources that are available to help you investigate OPM. Thank you very much.